everybody, Rechief here, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth Prosecutor's Path, Episodes 1 through 5 Beta. We've got chills, we've got thrills, and we've got time travel kills. But first, what's happening with these beauties that you've sketched, buddy? <sighs> buddy? That's better. About that sketch you mentioned just now... What?! If you wanted to see my art, you should have been honest about it from the start. Look, here it is! Aw, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. Larry, you're just... you're just down on yourself, man. Clearly this was your true calling. What is this? I already told you, it's a sketch of beauties! Ah, <laughs> but just to be clear, the beauties only refers to Justine and Katie. Ooh, that was low. Never mind, Larry, you suck. That other plump lady has nothing to do with that. <laughs> then why did you draw her on the same page? Well, I was taking a break from my still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So, you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh, yeah. I may have drawn them at different times. Uh, by the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful little Miss K on another page. Wow, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah. Even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. Delicate shades? Hmm. hmm. I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of help to the investigation. The contents of this sketch and the service cart in the fountain patio. It seems there is a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Could I borrow this sketch for a while? Sure! I could even sign it for you if you like. I think I'll pass. Sketch of beauties data. <laughs> That's funny. Sketch of beauties data jotted down in my organizer. Is there anything to you that uh, we've we've got? Whoa! That is one scary sketch. You're the one who drew it. <laughs> the scene you sketched here, you're sure you didn't mistake what you saw, right? Of course not. It was a shocking sight, so I remember it well. I drew it exactly like I saw it. <laughs> I really am a genius. <laughs> you certainly are a genius at causing trouble. What if we show you your... Oh, whoa. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that'll show up in the recording, but my monitor kind of flickered for a second. That was a little weird. Let's keep going. Let's show you your sketch of beauties. Ha! Ah, they're just so beautiful. Oh, Katie and Justy. So, which one's your type, Larice? Well, both of them are my type. Ha! <laughs> and of course, you too, Kay. So, anyone's your type as long as they're female. It's not like that at all. Even I have standards. Like that pink lady I drew in my sketch, she's way too old for me. This man, he could tell Delicia's age with just a single look. Okay, so if he needs to use his powers of deduction to uh, figure out what's happening here, then I think we are going to have to go into the logic panel. Oh, except that we don't really... Hmm. Did we already try this? Did we already do uh, this uh, thing? Ah! I guess we didn't. Maybe the reason why the sale and tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Huh? Really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change, after all. 
Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Miss Hall, was the reason why the Salem tea smelled different because the pots were switched? Yes, that's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. Ah, I'll remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. Okay. Hmm. Is that really all there is to it? I don't think it is. I think there was some normalium in there. Oh yeah, that's what I thought! A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed, she seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot, and more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right. Normally it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? One of the characteristics of Normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding Normalium inside this teapot. What? Inside the pot? It is only a possibility for now, but it's one worth investigating. Mr. DeBest, I assume you haven't found the Normalium yet. Huh? Uh, oh! I've had the entire art museum searched, but I haven't received any reports yet. And what about you? Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find it. Wait, what? You have an idea where it is? Indeed. Th then tell me! It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. Monsieur Edgeworth, is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth, surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having set off the poison gas? I do. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Atrium Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week, and I received help from both outsiders and Madame Denicia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found Normalium in my teapot, there is no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Hm. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis. Whoops. I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. I must find a way to shatter that excuse. This is Edgeworth. It's Gumshoe, sir! Did something happen? Actually, uh, right now all the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you what we found! It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. All of the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but... There's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. Huh. 
but it's still liquid in the glass cases. Yes, sir. We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but for some reason in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances? They consisted of sugar, salt, and blood. Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right. I leave it to you, detective. That reminds me. The forensics investigating the fountain patio contacted me. It seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that found in the light, in the light blue liquid. Oh? That sounds like valuable information. Liquid analysis results jotted down in my organizer. Is that all the new information you have for me? Ah, now that you mentioned it, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the IS-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to investigate now, sir. When we get the results of the blood tests, I'll let you know right away. Yes. Thank you, Detective. Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. Hmm? In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Well, then I guess we better get talking. What's up, Delicia? Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, see, of course. Anything for Miley and Kayfay, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. <laughs> And stop calling me Kefe. Fine. That's out of the question. I can't just change a name I've already decided on. Uh, even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in this museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yesy. Of course I do. Because the uh, whoops. Because they're presents that I gave to Katie. As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago. I gave her four new rock salt lamps and the four fluorescent cloths I used in the contest. Wow, that sounds nice. Fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps. <laughs> Seems like only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. Fine. That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Huh. I can't even imagine it. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? Probably. The rock salt lamp, the cloth, and the rainbow light device, they all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have the feeling I saw one more of the same cloth. It's true! Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag! What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Let's show Delicia and have her confirm my suspicions. First, I want to talk to her about setting off poison gas. I'd like to ask you something, since you're, uh, since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Ah, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megatoxin X. It even says on the warning label, Danger! Do not mix with Normalium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Well, it might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. 
since it also contains the recipe to prepare Megatoxin X. Why would you put that in there? I'm writing a cookbook. Here's poison fucking recipe. Good shit. Does that mean you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yes, see, that's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the Master Group. Oh, that's right, I guess it was actually a list of medicines and not a cookbook. Whatever. It's a company that makes the Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X. The cold medicine that promises to kill colds good. <laughs> I like the idea that Edgeworth has just seen that advertisement in the past. He's just repeating it verbatim. Promises to kill colds good. Alright. After Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. So this woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Interesting. Okay, what were we going to present to her? We were going to do... Oh, the cloth. Wasn't that a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Fine. I'm not going to give any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag. Then... Would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Fine! Wrong again! It's a fluorescent cloth! Oh good, I'm glad you just admitted to that. Uh, oopsie! Uh, that was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice is the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. And right after that I was called to the Autumn Palace. So that's the moment Lara captured in his so-called sketch of beauties. At first I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So... That's when I realised that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. <clears throat> the poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure, after all. <laughs> Eighteen years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body? Fluorescent cloth data updated in my organizer. Okay. So, uh, is there anything else we can get out of Delicia Scones? Uh, oh yeah, what did she think about her sketch? This sketch? Is this the one called the Sketch of Beauties? That's what the one who drew it called it. Although it seems you were excluded from it. Was that boy perhaps Loris? I'd love to chat with him one-on-one -on -one later. Hmm. It would be my pleasure to introduce you. Mr. Edgeworth, you're making an awfully evil face right now. <laughs> You're making an awfully evil face right now. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Anything else we can uh, do here? I wonder. It's true. I know how to make the poison gas. But even if you know how to fire a gun... It doesn't mean you actually shot one, right? I haven't actually decided that you're the criminal yet, though. I may be a great thief, but that doesn't mean I would commit evil deeds. And I may be a pastry chef, but that doesn't mean I can make desserts! <laughs> you're awfully down on yourself, Delicia. That's because you're a fake pastry chef. All right, let's see who else we can talk to here. Some nice dramatic slow music. You got anything new to say, Loris? Nope. You got anything new to say, Justine Courtney? I feel that your conduct thus far has clearly been out of line. 
I will make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're gonna be... Oh yeah, okay, we know we read this already. La 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 la. Alright. What about, uh, what about you? Okay, we already talked to you too. The best! Alright. Okay, this is the same as before. Don't think we want to talk to you yet. Uh, you're probably gonna be... Yep, that's fine. What about you? Ah. Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Hmm? Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie? No. Well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray can say is the Katie I know the Kate I know is a truly admirable woman. For 18 years, she's always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the mansion by Master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? That's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and a job taken from her, she could only live on with the, soul, with the song and dance that Mr. Master had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world-famous actress, though. Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. It seems she even got back the Angel's recipe that had been taken by the Master Group. Hmm, interesting. Wonder if that's gonna come up later. This mansion where she lived with Mr. Master had been everything to her. I mean, obviously it's gonna come up later, but like, hmm, interesting. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. It seems that Mr. Shields sympathizes with Miss Hall. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. Can we logic? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the Angel's Recipe. And the current owner of the Angel's Recipe is Miss Hall. Ah, so that means... Indeed. It means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies for what they are. Ooh, shit. Time to confront Kate Hall. Next time on the next episode of Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth Prosecutor's Path Episodes 1 through 5 Beta. I'll see you later, messieurs and madames. Woo! Baguettes! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha!